Hurricane Shack videos may be copied, remixed, transformed, and built upon with attribution. Thank you to all of the subscribers of my Hurricane Shack. This only includes users who have made their subscriptions public. Category 1 Hurricane Nicole with a maximum wind speed of 75 miles per hour, deepest pressure of 980 millibars, and a total accumulated cyclone energy of 4 units. Track map of Hurricane Nicole. This animation shows the wind field, watches and warnings, ensemble models, and official forecast cone for Hurricane Nicole. Basin wide view highlighting Hurricane Nicole. On November 4th, the National Hurricane Center began monitoring the Caribbean Sea, where a large low pressure system was expected to develop. By the 7th, a subtropical storm developed. On November 9th, Nicole transitioned to a fully tropical system. The following day, Nicole became the eighth hurricane of the season. Nicole made two landfalls in Florida south of Vero Beach and northwest of Cedar Key. Storm-centered view of Hurricane Nicole. Nicole became only the third November hurricane on record to make landfall in Florida along with the 1935 Yankee Hurricane and Hurricane Kate in 1985. Nickel crossed the same region in Florida devastated six weeks earlier by Hurricane Ian and was the first hurricane to make landfall on Florida's east coast since Katrina in 2005. As of November 12th, 11 deaths altogether have been connected to the storm six in the Dominican Republic and five in the United States. Voiceover text comes from the Wikipedia page for the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season and possibly the page for Hurricane Nicole. Data comes from the National Hurricane Center. Voiceover text generated by the TTS Linux program 